Imagine a machine that records feelings, emotions, even your hopes and dreams. And imagine that it can transfer these experiences from one mind to another. That was the premise for a 1983 movie called Brainstorm. It starred Christopher Walken and Natalie Wood in her last role. For science fiction fans, this wasn't the first time that they'd heard about this concept. Synthajoy by D.G. Compton, 1968. A brilliant psychologist and a talented engineer come up with a way to tape or record mental experiences. This can be shared with others. Initially, they want to use this to help patients in states of depression or perhaps even suicidal. But they find that they can record all sorts of experiences and communicate these to others, like that of a classical musician playing a piece, or perhaps the experience of walking through the woods. But as you can imagine, as this technology plays out, there are more and more lurid opportunities of things to record. This story is told from the point of view of the psychologist's wife. She is now a patient in an institution set up to use this technology to treat people. She is being treated because she has killed her husband. Did she kill her husband, or is she being programmed by this technology to accept responsibility for it? Is there something more to this technology that she wanted to stop? And what is Synthajoy? It takes a look at whether you could edit experiences and combine them. This novel's protagonist is an unreliable narrator. Her memories jump forward and backwards in a number of plot lines. We learn about how this technology came to be and some moral ambiguities attached to it. Then we explore how the psychologist was murdered. Is his wife responsible? Can we be sure that she is telling us the truth? I thoroughly enjoyed the structure of this novel with us slowly finding out pieces of information from a damaged mind. There's also some ambiguity in its conclusion. I was comfortable with that, but some readers may not be. Compton's exploration of sharing experiences and memories is fascinating. Are there things that we shouldn't share? Things that are private? Things that could be damaging? I was also reminded of a novel I read earlier called Bewilderment. In this novel, they used neural feedback to try to match brain waves of an experience from one person to another. I don't know if Synthajoy is the first novel to explore this area, but I do know it comes before Brainstorm and Bewilderment. In that way, it definitely is one of the first voices in this area. I give Synthajoy 8 out of 10. Synthajoy is the ninth novel in the Ace Science Fiction Specials Series 1. Terry Carr, editor of the series in Ace Books, must have liked what they saw in D.G. Compton. Two more books were bought for the A Science Fiction Specials, Series 1. Steel Crocodile. And Chronicles. And in fact, one more had been bought, but didn't come under the moniker of A Science Fiction Specials. It was The Missionaries. If you want to make sure that you don't miss any of my looks at these books in the Ace Science Fiction Specials, be sure to subscribe. Have you read D.D. Compton? Tell me what you think of some of his books. How about Brainstorm? Have you seen that movie? If you've seen Brainstorm and read Synthajoy, do you think that the movie plagiarized from the novel? Let me know in the comments for this video. Until next time, Keep reading.